Hello and welcome back to genetics series of Explore Bio with Dr. Abhishek. In today's video, we will learn about DNA fingerprinting also known as genetic fingerprinting. We will learn what DNA fingerprinting is. Next, we will see why it is important, what are its application and at last we will see how DNA fingerprinting works in which I will talk about all the basic steps involved. So let's begin. Every organism except the identical twins or clones have different DNA sequences or the genetic makeups. DNA fingerprinting is a powerful technique using which we can identify the similarities and differences among individuals or samples based on their unique DNA fingerprint profiles. But why DNA fingerprinting is important and what are the applications of this technique? Sometimes we need to find out a particular individual or study relationships or evaluate the variability in the population. In such cases, there is no other method as reliable and useful as DNA fingerprinting. It has wide applications in humans, plants and other organisms. Let's have a look at some of the most useful ones. The first and most useful application of DNA fingerprinting is in forensics to identify the criminal among various suspects. Suppose at the crime scene, you get a biological sample like hair, blood or semen of a criminal but you do not know who among the various suspects is the criminal. In such case, forensic team takes saliva or blood sample of all the suspects of the incidents such as murder along with the biological sample present at the crime scene. Next, the DNA is extracted and DNA fingerprinting is performed. The suspect whose DNA fingerprint profile matches with the sample collected from the crime scene might be the real criminal. It also helps to find out the wrongly accused criminal based on distinct fingerprint profiles. DNA fingerprinting is also used to find out paternity and other family relationships among individuals. By analyzing the DNA of a child and potential parent or sibling, it is possible to determine who is the real father among the potential individuals tested with a high degree of accuracy. In medical genetics, DNA fingerprinting is used to diagnose genetic diseases and to identify individuals who are the carriers of certain genetic disorders based on their DNA profiles. DNA fingerprinting is useful to identify a particular variety or cultivar estimate the level of biodiversity, species richness, which is essential for conservation efforts of rare and endangered species. The technique can be used to identify and track the spread of plant pathogens or pests by analyzing their DNA. It helps in determining the origin of disease outbreak, track the spread of the disease and help in devising the strategies for controlling and eradication of disease. In agriculture, DNA fingerprinting is used in developing new varieties of plants with desirable traits through molecular breeding, genetic mapping and other studies. Overall, genetic fingerprinting is a powerful tool with numerous applications in various fields and its importance continues to grow as technology advances and new applications are discovered. Now let's see how DNA fingerprinting is done and how the technique actually works. First, the DNA of the individuals or sample to be studied is extracted. Next, using specific genetic markers such as short sequence tags or SSRs or any other suitable marker type, PCR of individual DNA is performed in a thermocycler to amplify the DNA regions. The target region which is amplified using primers is usually variable or hypervariable region of the genome such as short tandem repeats in which the chances of finding variation is very high. The PCR amplified DNA fragments are separated on agarose gel based on their size. These fragments, also known as the DNA fingerprint profiles, are visualized under UV. Individuals or samples having same or similar profiles are expected to be the same or genetically similar or have some kind of relationship. In modern days, DNA fingerprinting is also done using next generation sequencing technologies in which the targeted genome or entire genome of individuals are being sequenced to generate a high resolution genetic profile of individuals. DNA fingerprinting using NGS includes DNA extraction from target individuals, fragmentation of DNA followed by adapter ligation to the ends of the fragments to generate a library. Next, using adapter-specific primers, high-throughput sequencing is done using Illumina, PegBio or Oxford Nanopore sequencers. The resulting sequence data is analyzed using bioinformatic tools to identify genetic variations or differences between the individuals based on the DNA sequence data generated. 
DNA fingerprinting using NGS technology, although is expensive compared to traditional fingerprinting, but it has tremendously helped in identification of variants of various viruses such as novel coronavirus. Along with this, it is very useful in high-resolution genetic mapping, trait-linked SNP identification, and many more. So that's all for the today's video. If you want to learn more about next generation sequencing, transcriptome analysis, different kind of markers such as SSR, RAPD, ISSRs and how they work, I have made a detailed video on each of these. Do check out my playlist on research and publishing, health and nutrition, bioinformatics, genetics, techniques or other useful information. If you like the information, do not forget to hit the like button and share it to the needful. Subscribe to stay informed about my latest uploads. Thanks and see you in my next